Folks. <laughs> How do we do today? Call of Duty Modern Warfare number three. Campaign early access launch has flopped spectacularly in a way we have never seen before. I've slowly seen excretions on X. And, <laughs> and people... They can't play the game. It tells them they have to pre-order it. And they're like, I paid $100 for this. Let me play the game. They have no COD points. Everything is just failing spectacularly. And I love to see it. Okay? This is what happens when you don't care about your game. They care about giving us something that people are going to go buy bundles. They're going to just pre-order it. This is what they get. This has been the pattern for really, like, years now at this point. They send something out. Oh, it's not good. Maybe by the end of the life cycle of this game, it'll be good. But by the time we're like, oh, hey, these updates are all right. The new game is already getting hyped up. What I wanted to do to celebrate this is uh, to go on to uh, X, formerly known as Twitter, and read some of the excretions that have been put out. Number one, the review from IGN, the campaign review of Call of Duty Modern Warfare number three states underbaked rehashed and cobbled together from multiplayer parts Modern Warfare 3's single player campaign is everything a Call of Duty story mode shouldn't be 4 out of 10 the lowest score they have ever given you love to see it one good thing Sledgehammer has announced that because of community feedback they are getting rid of weapon tuning. That's a good change. Okay, we have to give them some kind of credit where credit is due. That's a good change. Sledgehammer really does seem to be listening to the community and trying to make little changes here and there. I understand they probably don't have the control over something like skill-based matchmaking. You know, they probably don't. That's probably a higher, you know, upper-level Activision-type thing. So here we go. This is where we may find some interesting things. We'll just read a few of these. You know, see... See the feedback that the uh, campaign is getting. So Charlie Intel tweeted, or excreted, whatever we're calling it now. I really don't know. The ending of the MW3 campaign was disappointing. Felt like it needed more. That's upsetting. I also saw some guy say that it took him three hours, and he watched every cutscene all the way through and wasn't, like, rushing. Three hours to finish the campaign. Come on. And then you get reviews like this? Brother. Now we have some guy maybe but trying to defend it. It sets up another game perfectly. This isn't the end of a trilogy, but the third chapter of a much longer series. I'm personally okay with them keeping this going. You know another game that they really set up? Call of Duty Ghosts. Where's Ghosts 2? Okay. Call of Duty Ghosts was a solid little game. I don't know why it doesn't... I don't think it gets the respect that it deserves, especially now. Some dude just said, for real... I was like, that's it? Possibly the worst campaign of the franchise yet. This guy, a five. Nothing really new. Doesn't come close to the old campaigns. Rehashes missions from already seen stuff. Even the AC-130 mission comes back. Oh, I'd say eight, seven? Okay, so we got some higher ones here. Worst campaign's probably the worst this person has ever played. Light 7, some do 10 out of 10, enjoyed it. You know they work for Activision. 3 out of 10, 4, 2, 8, 4, 4. 4 seems to be, some dude said 0, uh, but 4 to 5 seems to be roughly what people rate it, which, I mean, is exactly the same as uh, what IGN said, but maybe they're just copying that. How many hours? Some dude said if you plan recruit, 4 to 5 here. Took me around 5-ish. So, I mean, probably if you play on veteran, it could take a little bit more. Who knows? Two hours if you're cracked. Three to four, three, three to four. Regular reset from checkpoints. Took him four hours. This dude says six to seven. Now, the thing is, if you're paying this much for a game, let's just say you're paying, I mean, obviously 70. Three to four hours. You are paying so much money per hour of that game obviously you know a lot of it goes to multiplayer but then you're going to go in and you're going to buy bundles in this free to play setup that multiplayer has that they charge you money to come in and play come on come on guys 
Here's Call of Duty. Um, as expected, says another, another. I think we should all get our money back. Uh, to be honest, GG's. Nice prank. Oh, this dude. This dude is upset. Guys, I want my 100 euros in all caps. Full refund. The launch of hashtag Modern Warfare III is so bugged and it has glitches and I cannot play because of it. Could you investigate the issue that has caused all players to have their accounts reset to zero and lose everything they have paid hard-earned money for on? <laughs> on hashtag Modern Warfare 2, number 2. Lost all my shit. Lots of money, guys. This is f***ing terrible. Have fun with, your, with our $100, guys. We're totally satisfied. This is just insane. Like, it's... It's super sad, and I feel bad for everyone who really just got screwed out of 70 or or $100. But what do you expect when they've been doing this for years now? Like, you can't expect that the game's going to come out perfect and good, right? It's, it's going to—this is what's going to happen when you spend money on a Call of Duty now. You can only expect this. Now they're going to spend the next seven, eight months trying to fix the game. And then everyone's going to be so ready for whatever the next game is that they're not even going to worry about it. This is this is going to be completely irrelevant, and everyone's going to pre-order it again because they're going to get hyped up and they're going to give in to it. Listen to this. The old Call of Duties, they're there. They're there. If you want to go back and play them, play them. Play the games that you enjoy. You don't have to just play the new one because it's, it's new. Go back to the old ones if you desire. You know, because obviously this is the new stuff is broken. It doesn't work. People say it's not good. It's rushed. It's just kind of thrown together, which, you know, kind of leads into the it was supposed to be DLC. Crazy stuff. Absolutely wild.